Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am Ona Olifant. For those who don't know, I hope you are doing good. Batong Luna, happy new year. Happy new year, my darlings. I hope that this year will be filled with so much blessings. May all your heart's desires come to pass. May it just be an overflow of abundance. Like 2024, baby. Let's do this. Let us get everything that is ours standing on business. <laughs> I guess I'm not laughing with anyone until December because we are standing on business Gasana. But anyway guys, please don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also to turn your post notifications so that you can get a notification every time I post and also do subscribe so that you can become a member of the Double O Gang. Gang, gang, gang. Guys, I am so happy. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that I get to sit here and actually say this that 2024 has started on a very high note for me. It is the 10th of January. Today it is 8:21. It's Wednesday and yesterday I received the news that I have been approved. I've been approved, guys. We're moving out of home. <laughs> This is so crazy guys, I am moving out. I am moving out of my parents' home and I am so grateful. This has been a long time coming, honestly. Um, I started apartment hunting officially since last year, September, and it has been stressing me so much. Like, it's been stressing me out because the whole process is just so draining. Like, I am so tired of Property 24, private property, like I'm up to here. I'm sick and tired of it. But there wasn't any rush, honestly. My parents like definitely are very supportive and they always made me feel like girl there's no rush take your time get your life together take as much time as you need to just sort yourself out and figure out what your next move is and yo guys it's been such a crazy process let me tell y'all okay so last week last week last week I was crying the first week of January I was literally so stressed and I was crying because I was just viewing a lot of places so the first place that was like my option the only problem is that somebody else got the place before me and then now last week i was like okay another place in the rent was great and everything within my budget and can you believe that this agent didn't pitch he literally didn't pitch i was trying to call dollar no answer like but it was like he's online so i was like so confused like asking myself so many questions because we went all that way just to go view and then somebody doesn't pitch um so yeah i went with my mom and i'm so grateful for her because she has been there with me since day one of this whole crazy process of mine and every time getting my makopota melena let's go view baby girl doesn't ask questions she's like let's go so i'm so so grateful so yeah guys like even despite like yo i was in my waiting season for so long like the waiting season is not cute and it was so uncomfortable if you are in an uncomfortable place and things are shaking things are shaking just know that god god is doing a thing and he definitely did a thing like literally last week i was crying about this whole thing of like the rejections i've been fasting i've been praying just that i can hear like god where do you want me to go because I always would pray before I go in. I would just like, even the place where we got stood up, like the guy didn't pitch, I was like, God, if this place is for me, may I feel it. And also, if it's not for me, make it clear. And God say less. And the guy didn't pitch. <laughs> I was so angry. I was so angry more than sad, honestly. Yeah, and then Monday, we went to go view another place. Um, and then we went in the morning. So it was very quick Monday. And then... Tuesday, literally a day after, I sent through everything, get a call. So I was like already like, can you give me good lesson? Like I had prepared myself for like anything. Like if it's not my time, it's not my time. If something is not meant for me, uh, it's not meant for me. And that's something I've just been learning through this process, and not to rush God's timing because I don't know what He's, what He's, getting protecting me from that I don't see yet. Like you just never know. So yeah, I just had to trust the vision. And his timing, honestly, I was I was like, God, it's, it's in your hands at this point. Like, it's not up to me. You're the one who will decide. So, yeah, I got the call and I got the good news. And obviously, I cried yesterday. Like, the crybaby that I am, I cried. I haven't told anyone yet, except for the people, like, at home. Except for Baba Lo. He has been helping me from day one with the whole admin of this whole process. Yo, guys, I am so excited to delete my Property24 apps. <laughs> 
but yeah i'm moving out guys we are moving out of home this is so crazy like this is insane like oc i'm a whole grown grilly ah guys like a whole two years two and a half years of being in this little room of mine at home vlogging at home like oh my word i'm so grateful i don't want to cry i always say the me back in potch that little girl 19 years old starting that youtube channel would have never thought that i would have my own apartment <laughs> oh i'm moving on friday did i tell you that i'm moving on friday so yeah i'm excited for this new chapter of my life i'm in season one chapter one episode one of my life so yeah guys thank you so much like i love you guys so much i love you okay i love you hi say hi you look so nice we're at the mall you're gonna have a camera following you around the whole day must i look this is your reality TV. Your reality show. Masa? Are you shy? You need to tell us where we're going. Thanks. To where? Hmm. Okay, so I'm at Mr. Price home and I'm trying to see what color but i know i want like something gray for the lounge area and then maybe like a cream nude vibe for the bedroom this is nice and you see the detailing on it mm. here's the teapot Why are you nervous? Like more. Oh my, your hand. Oh, jeez. This is so pretty. I wish this was like in a nice grey colour. This is very nice. I wonder how much is it like alone? Because this is also nice. Russell. What is this? Russell Hobbs. But it comes out with the toaster and I feel like I don't need a toaster, honestly. This is how they come out. Even this one as well. It's this. Oh, this one is this one. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much. I was looking for this, but I thought I wanted to try this color. Jalebo. You are talking. Most of them are nice. I don't managed to get boxes we at pep home now and i was feeling a little bit confused about this there's this transparent cutlery holder but i think i like the black one that i took from mr price home so i'm just gonna leave this got some curtains as well huh careful I'm officially gonna start packing it is 10 26 and yeah so this basically is all the stuff that I have accumulated in the past month like this chopping boards ice trays 
you know basics yeah that's just a pro tip if you are also trying to move out of home or wherever just buy stuff bit by bit like your stuff that you know that you're gonna need so that when you do move it's not like too much on the pocket and you have to buy everything from scratch you know so i've started buying these stuff since last year so yeah i don't regret my decision but guys yo there's so much stuff i've been asking my mom okay what do i start with so she said i should start with these stuff um on the bed and then clothes and stuff ish clothes is a problem because let me just show you guys my cupboard it is a mess so please don't judge me okay but yeah okay so these are all the no these are not all the clothes these are just some of the clothes that go on the hangers and then at the bottom there's a whole mess going on here some of my shoes heels and then here it's like mostly wigs and then at the bottom there it's like my tools that i use some of my shoes are here like there's a lot of boxes and then the rest of my shoes are at the bottom there that's all my shoes then here some some clothes here is just a mess and then here it's mostly like toiletries and perfumes and skincare and then up here there's a lot going on sunglasses jewelry i still need to unbox that and then all my handbags are just in there and then at the back there there are some clothes bags and stuff and then that's the part that's stressing me out there's just a whole bunch of boxes that i've just been i've been postponing getting rid of mostly bags and then guys can you believe that those suitcases up there are literally filled with my clothes my clothes only um basically winter mostly and a bit of summer and also like so i need to also sort that out but i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it all now but yeah there's a lot of stuff that needs to be given away and yeah just declutter to just make room for more in life so yeah let's get started it's a bit overwhelming but let's get started Date. It is 12.29 and oh my word, why would I throw my phone like that? But yeah, there's been progress. Um, these are the box that I've managed to pack so far with Musa's help. She's been insisting. So this big box at least, this is all like kitchen stuff and glass. Like fragile stuff in here. The blender's in there. And then this side, it's like just plastic kitchen stuff now look how my bed is looking sana oh my word these are basically all my products these are all my products makeup toiletries these are just stuff that i've been getting from brands and yeah so i want to still keep these crates because this i feel like i can store extra like products in here that i don't use on a daily um so for now i just want to like put the stuff that i'm still going to be using tomorrow morning um like toiletry wise in here aside and then these all these extra stuff are gonna go into a box so yeah guys wish me luck wish me luck sanas um it is currently two minutes to two and yeah i'm low-key starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed but um i think it's just the amount of stuff now that are coming out of the cupboards and now that i can see them i'm like damn girl but yeah at least there's progress i there's some stuff that i'm leaving at home i'm not taking everything because it's just a lot and my cupboard space there at the apartment is like there's cupboard space there's like one two three and then at least there's like a middle cupboard in the passage so yeah 
plus the cupboards in the kitchen as well are quite decent so we'll see but yeah now i'm onto my handbags i want to take a break though um maybe in 30 minutes time i am gonna change i showered this morning so i'm just gonna change and then i asked my brother to like i'm happy to go to the mall because i just want to go to checkers hyper and look for a kettle because i was online last night checking and i wasn't finding what i'm looking for i think i'm gonna go for gray i think i'm gonna go for gray like um, because i'm my microwave is already like silver and then my fridge i want it to be gray so i just think i should just go for a gray kettle like a dark gray maybe so yeah we're gonna go to century and mall <sighs> moving is a lot of work moving is so much work i'm really adulting guys oh my word this is so scary like i don't know i feel like i has a sinky in like i can't believe like i am responsible for paying my own rent that's so crazy like i think it will maybe sink in when i'm there because right now it's all just a blur but forever grateful <laughs> Hey guys, so we managed to find a kettle, but we got it at Woolworths, surprisingly. There was nothing at Checkers. Checkers, it was a lot of those stove top kettles, and then gave me in Italy the whole combo thingy that I don't want. So, yeah, we're gonna go get some boxes at Pep, and yeah, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. So, I'm at Mr. Price home again. I was here yesterday, but I'm looking for champagne glasses to pop my bubbles tomorrow for when I take my pictures <laughs> so there's these as well and then these ones I think I'm gonna take those ones up there so yeah these are just the basic ones I think these are like those ones over there so I, I think let me take those <laughs> let us call to the fellow ah! shame she's been hearing me complain and complain and complain why am i so nervous hi hi girl how are you hey <laughs> i'm having monster sana but clink clink Yo, I need the energy, Sana. Hello, what are you gonna do today? I am moving. <laughs> <laughs> Sana. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, it was so hard keeping the. <laughs> Hello, ma. Like I. <laughs> uh, we are moving out to our own place. Oh, nice. Oh, God, good. Moving tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice, Una. Thank you, ma. I am moving now. Let me call Palesa. <laughs> <laughs> You bought me so much, hey? Hi. <laughs> Hi, girl. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Do you want to go? Skaka. Skaka. Yeah, I think I skaka tonight. What is happening? Since Tuesday, Sana, it's been so hard to keep. So, tomorrow, my address is changing! You lie! <laughs> Thank you, girl. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this 
been a... What do you mean? <sighs> so, remember when I was sending you that voice note and stuff and I was... talking this whole time. Tomorrow, Sanas. Are you moving? Tomorrow! Yeah, girl, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. My sister, you're going to your own place. You're going to be an adult. I'm paying rent. Ew. That's disgusting. Oh my word. No. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Do you like the place? Yes, I love it. I love it. Let me send you pictures. Thank you, my friend. Hi, babes. Okay, sharp. Yeah, girl. No, I just wanted to let you know the good news. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, girl? I'm moving tomorrow, girl. Oh, girl, congratulations. <laughs> hey, boo, when did you, when did you find oh. it? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, friend. Um, that is such a huge step. Yo, everything has just been happening so quickly. Like, it's crazy. Yo, congratulations, girl. Yeah. It's literally God. Guess that, nah. Right? Like, God literally kept that place for you. Oh. Like, he literally kept it for you. No, he did, shame. He really did. Uh, Yo, this is so scary. But also so exciting. Okay. No, but you're gonna do fine. Like you're gonna be fine, hey. Yeah. Also, at least I feel like at least you're not too far from home. Mm. We are basically done. Um, everyone has been helping. Like I am exhausted. Fourteen minutes past twelve, and it is the twelfth of January. My moving in day, Sanas. But yeah, bed is up with my headboard, and then. There is the mirror. That mirror is going to be thrown away. But there's boxes at the bottom. There. Then my plant is also coming with me. So, yar. This is me. Can't believe it. We are really doing this. We are really doing this. I need to fill out the form for water and electricity. <laughs> before I sleep. So I'm going to do that now. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Well, later on. I'm excited, a bit scared, a bit nervous, a bit overwhelmed. Feels a bit surreal. But yeah, let us do this. Good morning. It is officially moving day and this room is empty. It is now 10.39. It's 22.10 right now and we're done packing. Everything is in the lounge, just waiting for the truck to come. Then I'm going to fetch my key. This room, like it's actually so big, like the echo in here is crazy. Bye from my room and on to the next chapter. It was great. It was really, really great. This is the last time you see me in this room. So yeah, guys, on to the next chapter. We're closing this one and we're starting a new one. So yeah. So it is later on. A lot has been going on, but it is currently 22-3 and I'm at my new place. This still feels like I'm dreaming. It feels so surreal. But let me tell you what happened. So the unit that we viewed last time was on the ground floor. But the lighting was just okay. I don't think it was north facing. I don't know. The one with the proper lighting, it wasn't that. So I was like, ah, it's fine, you know. I've been looking for a place. Only to find out today when we get to the place that they gave me a different unit. Um, and it is facing the way that the sun um, comes through. And it's also bigger than the one that I viewed and thought I was getting so God shout out to God because wow it is so much more spacious everything like lighting also the place is brand new no one has stayed here I'm the first tenant <laughs> so everything is new modern I love it so much and it is clean but it's just like the floors everything just needs to be done again so i'm gonna clean after this um so yeah i just met up with the agent we got the keys yeah then my parents are gonna come and drop off like my stuff bed and everything but yeah so yeah let us get into my apartment tour baby yeah double o gang the double o gang house batong luna good now <laughs> So yeah guys, let's get into the apartment tour. So yeah guys, welcome to my home, my new home. I'm so excited. 
This is on the third floor. Third floor, eh? Third floor. But yeah, my brother is my cameraman. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so basically this is the door. I'm standing by the door. Okay, so the first thing that you see to your left is like the basin area. And then there's also space for a washing machine here. And I love that we have double sinks, yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of cupboard space at the bottom. That is something I was so worried about. But there's enough space. The lighting is a bit off, but... So next to this whole um, left side of the kitchen, there is a little bit of space um, here by this wall. And then we have a balcony, which is so spacious, guys. Like, I love it. This is my balcony. That is how much space there is. It's quite a decent amount of space. I love it so much. So that's the balcony. And then moving on to the right, my favorite part, the kitchen. Well, this is also part of the kitchen, but I love this so much, guys. How gorgeous and my flowers and a bottle of something to myself just to say congratulations. So yeah, like I said, everything is very modern, it's brand new. As you can see, the stove, it still has the pamphlets and everything. And then we have a gas stove, which is nice because if there's load shedding, I can still, you know. Um, but I've never used like a gas stove, so I'm a bit worried about that. Like, me changing the gas and what what. Oh, sana. But yeah, a whole bunch of covered space. Ignore the, the noise and the echoes, it will get better. But yeah, I have a decent amount of cupboard space. The microwave is going to go up here. And also, I like that the microwave has like a designated space because I didn't want it on the surface area. And here, just some more cupboard space. Look at my flowers. These are my flowers. Big girl things, baby. Wait, let me show you my key. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna pop this later. But yeah, that is me. This is basically like my lounge area. I think this is where my couch would come. You know, a couch over here. And then the TV would go like this way. So this is how it looks from the lounge. This is me standing in the lounge. So yeah, this is basically the lounge area. I think I would put the TV here and then the couch where you guys are right now. This is my bedroom. So this is how it looks. Come through, come through, come through. This is the bedroom. So I'm still trying to figure out which way I'm gonna have like my bed position because I'm thinking of maybe this way or it could work like putting my headboard and my um, bed like facing this way so we'll see we'll see when everything gets here but it's quite a decent amount of space um enough space for me myself and i and then these are the cupboards this is how my cupboards look then this side as well there's more space like hanging space and then there's space at the top there as well so that is how much cupboard space so next to the cupboard there's this like area i think you could maybe i don't know what you would put here but it's like a little um plank and then there's a plug over there the other plug is almost nearby the window over there and then one thing i also like is that there's more cupboard space in the passage so i have a little bit of storage you know, guys, I have a lot of stuff. I'm literally wondering if all my stuff are gonna fit. But we'll see. But yeah, this is the amount of space in this middle cupboard. And then next to this cupboard in the passage, we have the bathroom on your left. And that is how the bathroom looks. And this is the bathroom there is a shower this is how the bathroom looks from the door i love how modern everything is and then behind the door there's just this um rail and then some cupboard space again at the bottom then the basin that is me hi i also didn't realize there's more space in here for like my products and everything like that so yeah guys 
this is me this is me this is how the shower looks from this side and the toilet i really love how modern everything is but yeah guys this is how everything is looking we just built some chairs for in the meantime i'm gonna start mopping because as you can see the floors are a little bit dirty so that when everything comes it is clean but yeah this is my new home i love it so much um yeah guys god is so good god is too good hey, how do you feel that i'm leaving you <laughs> i don't know you don't know but at least you're sleeping over today did you tell them she's sleeping over she's gonna spend my first night with me at my new home are you happy yeah <laughs> Masa was so excited guys like she couldn't wait for this day to come but yeah guys i'm so grateful shout out to god look at my beautiful flowers that is the apartment tour this is my new home i can't wait to finish this place i can't wait to just make it feel like a home and see everything coming together i have a microwave i have a kettle so far um i'm still trying to figure out what type of fridge i want but hey eh, we'll see those stuff honestly today's friday so so yeah i love it so much it's beautiful it's modern and like i told you guys the the color scheme as well this is what i wanted um so i'm so grateful shout out to god double o gang home baby i have a whole key to my own apartment baby a whole a whole apartment babe okay can we get in my apartment rikeni 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 <laughs> but anyway guys this is so surreal i'm gonna change back into my cleaning clothes and mop okay So the bed is in. My parents are just helping me with curtains just for the night because they haven't installed rails. As I said, I'm the first tenant to stay in the apartment. So they said they're gonna come and do the rails tomorrow. The electricity's on. So yeah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. It's drizzling. So yeah, guys. Okay, we're gonna open the bar. Oh. I got these glasses. My new glasses from Mr. Price Home. Blues. Okay. So yeah, everything is basically in. Just trying to see what is what and trying to order food as well. 
So you're welcome, welcome. Don't worry about me and hopefully fire. In this very moment, I can play Goliath with the flame. Someone has moved out of my house. A room available for rent. Thank you. No more plates. I don't have plates. Ordered some food. I'm so hungry. Um, I don't have plates. These are my two bowls that I have at the moment. And we ordered a family treat. 10 piece from KFC. I have not eaten all day. I just had a smoothie. So I'm hungry. Uh, it's quarter past six right now. And I just want to put this over there. These are the appliances that I got so far. Microwave. And then this is the kettle that I got. Because we're going for like a great steak. Obviously, because the habits gray silver so i'm still trying to figure out in terms of pots what color would go because as you can see the stove is like black there's like a touch of black but yeah so i just want to open this so that we can put it and also make use of it i got these box cutters from shein so cute so yeah this thing, I don't know where you want to keep it. The microwave fits perfectly. There we go. And it's a digital digital microwave guessana. So yeah. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. It looks so good. What is this? The paint. Uh, if you got a paint, we get it. Is it paint? No, it's not turning paint for the microwave. The microwave is from Game. I will have it linked. Down below, this is a 20 liter, and then this kettle I got it from Woolworths. I'll also have it linked down below. But yeah, this is the kettle. This is how it looks. Cute, 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 cute. And then it comes with the little thingy that you put it on. Cute. What are you making, Masa? Um, making a necklace. Cute. You'll show me how it comes out, ne? Okay. My friend is here. I'm going to fetch her at the gate. I'm so excited, but it's raining. Hi, girl. How are you? Oh, good. Oh, it's a blessing, Kesana. Oh my god, this is you? This is me! <laughs> oh, gorgeous. The camera isn't doing it justice. Good morning. Are you good? I'm good. You're a big bro. That's a look at my big brother. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Did you want it? So I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I'm unpacking bit by bit. So we're starting with the kitchen stuff. Um, I got this cutlery tray from Mr. Price Home for $260. It's just black. 
because there's a touch of black going on here and I didn't see anything else that I liked and the quality is really really great so it's just gonna go here on top I think let me just show you everything on the counter first and then I also got this um, 16 piece stainless steel cutlery set it's like a ch it's like a charcoal gray black kind of color but it's very very nice um, this was 400 from Mr. Price Home. 16 piece. I'm curious to see where the rest under here. So yeah, everyone is like well, currently watching me unbox this right now. So <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> and then I've got a whole bunch of um, ice cube. What's this? Molds. Tray. Molds, as my sister says. Um, they're so fun. There's like this circle one. There's one for like the bottle. <laughs> And then there's this one, the big one. And also from Pep, this was 60 Rand. Um, as you can see, we're matching the aesthetic. This um, utensil set. I almost ordered this from Shein, forgetting that I actually have this. These are ice cream bowls, but um, we were using it as like dips. You know, if you're having like a, a charcuterie board, cheese board, then you put it in the middle. <laughs> Um, yeah, but then you can also use these as ice cream bowls. This is 16 rand from Pep. So I got two and then a towel. This was 140 from Pep. Just a white long towel for the bathroom. I got a gray one now, which I will show you. What's the name of that bowl? Yeah, you can take the towel. Just take the price off. It's a charcuterie. <laughs> Shuck, it's not a cheese board. It's the first time I heard that word. So cute, my name is You can take the <laughs> And then I got these snack um, clips. Like if you open a pack of chips, you can just clip your snacks. This was 30 rand. And then I got like lunch tins, you know, just for storage. 100 rand. And then I also got this small Anyana one. You see, these are great and the quality like this strong. So yeah. And then guys, my tray actually cracked. My mirror tray. I was using this for my perfume, so it was on top. So it just happened that it be cracker. But it's fine because it's just gonna be in my cupboard like this with the perfumes. So this is how it looks. This was also from Pep Home, but I got it like a couple of months ago. I've been using this. And then this, just these glass. Um, thingies. I can't remember how much this was. The price is off. And then lastly, from this stuff right here, I got a chopping board from Pep Home for 60 Rand. Pep Home, shame. Here's our back. And then this, I was so excited about. Like, I was so excited about buying these. These are tea towels. These are not... Or, it's a tea, it's a tea towel made using premium Australian grown cotton, baby. So I got this from Woolworths. This is the Country Road um, set of three. This grey and white colour. This is how they look. These are just going to go over the oven like thingy. Love them so much. I'll show you guys once I put them on. Let me actually show you. The vision. <laughs> That's the vision. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna put my thingies, my tea towels. Yeah. I got this knife set um, for 130 pep home. There's like a bread knife. Five, five different knives um storage labels from pep home as well so yeah there's different like things on it juice tea oil coffee pasta oats flour washing bag 25 rand this was 10 rand literally 10 rand for this from pep home how cute so pretty for baking and then i just got a uh, basic jug and then I got this diffuser so pretty 
This was 80 Rand and Pip Home, their diffusers really smell good and they're strong. I think this for now is gonna be the last part of the haul. I think I'll just show you guys um, the rest of the stuff tomorrow because I'm so tired and it's almost 8 o'clock. But yeah, um, I got a lot of these um, storage containers. The small ones are 55 Rand. The prices are not that far apart. Like you see, these ones are 60. So I got two of those ones. I think I want to get another, like, one that's this long, big size. And then two of these, three of this. So I think maybe if I could have three, three, yeah, of these. Um, I'm thinking of putting, like, my stuff in here, like pastas, flour, your pap, everything in here. And then a hack that I saw on Pinterest, I was wondering myself, okay, how do they know the, ex the expiry date? So you just print out the expiry date and they usually put it at the bottom of the lid that's how you know when your stuff will expire and then i got this from mr price home this is a window cleaner um i basically bought this for the shower and oh yeah these as well this i'm thinking of using these for my you know those soup packets right you have your soup packets and everything then you can just store them in here Maybe here at the bottom. This was 65 Rand. I got two of those. Pep Home, as I say once again. So you see. So yeah, this is the progress so far. This is how my cutlery is looking. I've added the knives as well. So everything is basically giving black over here. And that's the tray. There's nothing in here yet. And then for now, I just put these in here. So, yeah, there's still a lot going on. And also, I changed, we changed the direction of the bed to the middle because here it was just, there wasn't that much space. So at least, because the plug is that side. So yeah, we made it work with the rails and everything. Without the rails, I mean. That is basically what we've done today. Like, yo, I'm tired. So I'm just going to chill and I'll see you guys later. Or, yeah, I'm also going to go check out the pool, so. If you see us in the club, we'll be like to be nice. If you see us on the floor, you'll be watching all night. We ain't need a good nobody. So give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Wanna see you work your body. So give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Just because you didn't come up with it So if you see us in the club Go on and walk the other way Cause our run will never be over Not a list until we stay If you in the club We'll be like to be all nice If you see us on the floor You'll be watching all night We ain't here Say hi Good morning Oh my word Today is day Day one, firstly, officially in the new space. Um, I've been telling Palisa Kiretina, personally, this is not real. We're just at an Airbnb. We're at a staycation. We're going to check out of here soon. Kakai, you know, go back to normal life. <laughs> this is so surreal. Like, it hasn't it hasn't synced in yet, guys. Like, this is so crazy. But I'll show you guys. We've been, like, we've made a lot of progress. Palisa has been helping me um, pack, pack my clothes. My sinuses are giving me a problem, so yeah. But yeah, today is Saturday. Um, I'm not sure what time it is right now, but we're gonna head out to the mall. We're into Mall of Africa. Firstly, personally, I've never been there. 
um palisa as well so we were just like let's go and explore girl you know have some brunch nyana and then i still need to get some stuff that i need i just need to write down the light they usually have them at like with this cam and game load shaving so yeah guys we're gonna go oh it's 11 25 so we're gonna go now there we go hi guys pretty pretty yeah I'm sure they Oh, cute. Yeah. Turn around. You've got all the shimmer on your arm. So pretty. Everything is so cool. This is my friend. Say hi, girl. Hi, guys. You look so beautiful. Thank you, girl. So, yeah. In your new place, in your new house. <laughs> Sunday the 14th of January and it is currently quarter past 12 I did not sleep here yesterday I slept at home which was the plan initially I was supposed to go home yesterday Saturday and then come back on Monday but then literally yesterday when I got back home I realized that I forgot my my bag that had my clothes my toiletries everything here and my iPad see if I had my iPad and my charges I wouldn't have like but yeah then I found my power bank at home, so honestly I was like, it's fine, also. So guys, I slept at half past seven, that's how tired out I was. At half past seven, I was out, I thought I was just gonna sleep for an hour or two. That didn't happen, I woke up at like 4am this morning, I was like, why didn't anyone wake me up? But I needed the rest, I'm back, I'm here at my place now, as you can see. I am waiting for the contractors to come and install the rails, they said they're gonna come at 12, it's currently 17 minutes past 12. So, yeah, I just want to show you what I got yesterday from the mall. This um, dustpan and broom situation. I got this long one because I am not trying to like bend like that. No. So you can just like scoop it up while you're standing. This was 90 Rand from Mr. Price Home. Microfiber dishcloths. The fatuk basically because I don't have any I just have drying cloths those country road ones So I just needed washcloths as well a few years back. I I Stumbled upon these I, I was at a restaurant somewhere and they had these Woolworths hand washes, right? And I was in the bathroom and I smelled these and I was like, oh my gosh, these smell divine and I was like I told myself girl one day when we get our own place these this is what I want in my bathroom also I'm not ready to commit to um soap holders yet like whatever yeah you get my vibe so I was like for the time being let me get this while I still choose which ones I want to commit to for the bathroom these are the Woolworths um almond milk and vanilla guys if you have not smelled these Please do yourself a favor and smell these. So this is the hand wash and this is the lotion. I got a dish rack. This is how it looks. I cannot remember how much this was um, from Mr. Price because as you can see the price tag came off. I got this um, just like a shower caddy in a way that sticks on the wall like this. So yeah, I feel like it's quite a decent amount of space. If I can find another one in future, I think I'll just add another one. And then I can just put my shower gels, my soap, and yeah, like everything that I need in the shower. This is how it looks. Also, I'm not sure about the price because it's not here. I got the matching bin as well for next to the toilet, just a bathroom bin as well. Um, yeah, just to make my life easier. This was also too pretty. Why is this... This I get a bin, but why is this also 250? But anyway, this bin, um, yeah. Hello. He took the measurements and everything, but now the problem is that there's low shedding right now, so he can't do it right now. And I'm about to leave now. It's Sunday, 
I'm gonna go home. Kije di joza go kai sondak kos, you know. <laughs> Have my last Sunday meal at home and then um we postpone to tomorrow at 3 p.m. But I also just checked the toilet accessories that I got, guys. I don't like it. It doesn't match my aesthetic. So I'm gonna take these back. I'm not feeling them in the bathroom. This wooden color is too like it doesn't match so let me show you my new baby that i got our first baby of the apartment okay our little baby um yeah man i just needed something small this was 90 rand from mr price home she's cute um i need to google the con like the requirements like what this plant needs i'm still trying to think of a name for her she's so cute Yeah. 80 people out of all than 80 on a price. Is this the pizza? Yes. 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 <laughs> hey guys um i feel like we haven't spoken in such a minute it is monday today and it is i'm sure it's like almost to 10 i was on the phone with my mans it is officially my first night here alone well i'm not really alone because i have you with me i have you guys with me but in terms of here right now, it's just me, myself, and I. Look at those guys. It's just me. In this apartment. I'm having a glass of wine over there. That was um, grape juice in here. But in here, I'm having wine. In this massive glass of mine. Clink, clink to our first night in our new apartment cheers to big girl things and adulthood but yeah guys do you hear that silence <laughs> that's one thing i love about this complex it was so quiet like i love that i just wanted peace serenity tranquility honestly and that's what i got so yeah it is my first night in the new apartment alone this is so crazy. I feel like it hasn't synced in. I still feel like I'm just at an Airbnb. And I'm gonna check out. I took a nice, warm, hot shower. And just put on my pajamas and got into bed. Ordered some pizza. Like, Rashibile Skim Samu. Like, when my family was here helping me. Um, the people are still gonna finish off the rails tomorrow. And then I'll show you how the curtains look. Um... So yeah guys, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to take it all in, pray, and just give thanks to God because wow, he is like so good and I'm so grateful. So, good night. <laughs>